stated that someone there is holding her hostage. I said, who stabbed you? And she said, my son, he's stabbing everyone in the house. Yeah, he got to carry on this greatness. We have our boy. He got to be great. He got to be great. He got to be great. He got to. Another victory for Big Dog. <laughs> Big Dog doing it. Another victory for Dog. <laughs> <laughs> this case makes me sick. On July 8th, this man was able to postpone after torturing his girlfriend. By July 10th, he had murdered his girlfriend that he had a son with and two other individuals. Why was he allowed to post bond? And why do they keep letting criminals with crimes as serious as his and repeat offenders out on bond? Hello, my name is Holly. Welcome to the Murder She Shed. This is the place we discuss the dead right from my she shed. No subscribe, do subscribe. Either way, I don't care. Just drop by if you dare into my crime lair so I can occasionally give you a she shed scare. Welcome back to all that are subscribed. And I'm sorry about my horrible rhymes. Warning for those that might be upset with domestic abuse this video could involve some triggers it might be your time to exit stage left on july 2nd 2022 at 7 24 a.m detroit police officers were dispatched to a home on kilbourne avenue for a domestic violence assault jonathan welch age 23 whom lived with his girlfriend zayla 22 and with their young one-year-old son in this house. They have been together for six years, but it was an abusive relationship. And as of all abusive relationships, it began to escalate and escalated to a very bad place. Welch woke Zayla up at 3 a.m. and essayed her before demanding the password of her phone. Zayla refused to give it to him, so he grabbed an extension cord and started strangling her. Welch then grabbed a gasoline can and poured gasoline all over her body. I am assuming he eventually intended to light her on fire after he had finished his torture. He then heated a metal spatula and burned her arms and legs with it. He then attempted to S.A. her with a large pole. The mother of his children. I don't understand. I don't understand what is wrong with people. How could they do that? He also beat her with a belt and threatened her with a drill. I don't even know. I don't want to know what he's going to do with that drill. While Welch went into the kitchen, possibly to find another torture tool. Zayla ran out the front door, nude, and went to a neighbor's house. Welch chased after her, trying to pull her off of the neighbor's porch. Once he was gone, the neighbors took her into the house, gave her a blanket, and then called 911. Welch returned and kicked in the neighbor's door. Then he heard sirens and took off in his vehicle. Zayla had blisters, bruises, and open cut up wounds all over her body. Officers were able to arrest him by 1124 that day, and he was charged with torture, first degree home invasion, harmful device used, possession, causing injury, third degree criminal sexual conduct assault with intent to commit sexual penetration, assault with intent to do great bodily harm and three counts of felonious assault. Then guess what? They let him back out after he was able to get 10% of a $100,000 bond. It just blows my mind and it's just so disgusting that he even could bond out. Welch's mother paid his bond and now she is dead because she made that choice and he paid her back by killing her. Only two days later, Two days later, he went on a killing rampage. Welch was wearing a court-ordered GPS ankle monitor after being released on bond and was told he had to stay at his mother's house. 
although I can't find any documents saying that Zayla had gone to Welch's mom's house, she had to have went there where he was, but I'm unsure of why she would do that at this time. Maybe he talked her into it. Who knows? Domestic abuse is a complicated matter, and I don't know why she made that choice and why she made the choice to take her little baby with her. Maybe she just didn't think with his parents there she would be in any danger. That's where she thought wrong. Authorities were called to Flossie Bray's house. She is Welch's mother about 8.14 p.m. on July 10th. After his mother had escaped the house and ran to a neighbor's house, she had been stabbed in the back multiple times by her own son. Authorities were called, and after they came to the house, noticed the little one-year-old in the driveway. They were able to grab him and get him to safety. A neighbor said that she had seen Welch throw him out the window of the house. Welch began shooting at officers, and then they started seeing smoke and flames coming out the house. Officers took cover, set up a perimeter, and called for a tactical team. The standoff went on for several hours before Welch lit the house on fire. Hours later, the situation ended with police arresting Welch. Here is some blurry cell phone footage of Welch exiting the house. Robert Bray Jr., Welch's stepfather, was found dead in the house and had been stabbed multiple times with a butcher's knife. Zayla was found stabbed multiple times and what I understand had been shot too. Welch's mother did not die till July 16th at the hospital. Welch now faces three counts of first degree murder. Three counts of assault with intent to murder a count of second degree arson, seven counts of felonous assault, and six counts of using a firearm during a felony. If convicted, he could be sentenced up to life in prison for the murder charges, and he deserves it. Robert Bray Jr. served in the Air Force, worked as an RN, and was recovering from an operation as he battled lung cancer. Sad that the monster took his life after he battled so hard from lung cancer. Awful. I didn't find much online about Frosty Bray, but I do know one thing. She was beautiful. Zayla Frazier, one thing I seen consistently, that she was a great mother. It is so horrible that her son will miss out on all of her love she could have given him. Men that kill the mother of their children are the most selfish individuals on earth. How could you steal that love from your children? She also loved to laugh and spread positive vibes to everyone around her. I'm going to put the GoFundMe account link for Zayla's funeral costs and for her little one-year-old son, you know, whatever he may need. It's down below. Here's the subscribe button down there if you want to donate, okay? Just wanted to get this case out to you. It was a very important one that hopefully society can learn from. Prayers for all the family and friends that lost their loved ones. And prayers to the little one-year-old who because of the selfish act of his dad now has no mother, no dad, no grandmother or grandfather. Love y'all. Have a blessed day, a blessed week. Be a blessing to others. Keep your eyes out for those around you. Don't forget my bloopers. Bye. I love ya. This may end up complete chaos. I have three, three of my dogs in here. Well, that's all my dogs, not just three. Sometimes I sing and rhyme and they're both horrible. And I apologize. No, I don't. You just deal with it, okay? It's stranging, strangling, strangling, strangling. What are you doing? What are you doing, Samo? I love you, baby, but you're going to have to be quiet. You're going to have to be quiet, baby. you shaking my mic. Look at my own mic shaking. From your breathing. Rewind. Rewind. Grew up. Grew up again. Screwed up again. I probably shouldn't tell this story because my brother would get mad at me, but I doubt he ever watches my videos, so I'm going to tell him. My brother's like 12 years older than me. He's my only sibling. One time, 
My dad told everybody in the house, when I was growing up, we lived in this big two-story house. Instead of the concrete foundation, it had a wooden foundation. And underneath was the plumbing pipes. So my dad came in the house and he told everybody, do not flush the toilet. Don't use the bathroom for a bit. Don't flush the toilets. I'm going under the house to fix the plumbing. He takes the plumbing apart under there. And what did my brother do? He went upstairs. Well, he could give it a good suction, I guess. Took a big old dump and flushed. And ran for his life. Ran out and got in his truck. I was like six or seven years old. I remember it vividly because I remember my dad coming out from under the house and cussing up a storm. Where is that boy? Where is it? He knew instantly it was my brother. It's before I was old enough to cause trouble. What? There is a bug in here. Oh yeah, I think it might be a bee. Oh God. There might be things falling in a minute everywhere. We fixing to have it out with each other, Mr. B. But I had enough of you. You make a huge noise up in here. I normally like bees. My brother has honeybees, but this one's just annoying. I got Normally I'm all about being friends with the bee. One of those, like those annoying people that you find that you're like, man, I wish I could squash them because they're so annoying. That's how that bee was. Simon so says, bye, I love my people out there.